problem. I'm often asked about my antenna system, which I've made up from a, a number of commercially available parts um, from other antenna systems or individually available. And I found this to work really well, either uh, on the ground or on a tripod or even on a mag mount on the roof of the car. So today in this video, I'm going to take you through the parts that make that up and I'll provide a list of, of where they are and where I got them. Um, sorry, what they are and where I got them from um, in the description. So starting at the bottom uh, for Ford's for putting it in the ground, I've got the super antenna um, super spike. On top of that goes the super antenna UM3 mount, which is the tripod mount or uh, to, to, to mount on other bits of the hardware. I then, for this configuration, I'm using one extension rod from the super antenna. You can use two or however many you've got. So anything gives you a little bit more advantage. Now I used to use the super antenna, uh, super slider I think it's called, um, the coil. But re more recently I've, I've found this one, which is from M1 ECC antennas and it's the Super Slidewinder DX. Um, the reason I like this at the moment, rather than the uh, Super Antenna one, is there's no, there's no moving parts that take any weight, just the actual um, slider ring there, which slides up and down on its own. So I've, I think it's gonna be a little bit better um, for supporting the, the more heavy whips that I use than the Super Antenna one. Um, I haven't had this long, but it's worked pretty well in, in all the all the different uh, configurations I've described on the car, in the ground or on a on a tripod, and it works quite well. It is slightly more fiddly to um, to tune correctly with with the um, with the um, antenna analyzer to get it into the right place. But in the end, you, you can get it there. You can get it down below 1.5 to one, and it it seems to work fine. Well, I've used I've used it. Um, using JS8 cool and SSB and what have you over the past couple of months. And that goes on top of there. Um, if you can try not to drop it, it's easily screws in. Look at that. Now you can mount that where you like. Um, when I've got it on the bottom, on the top of the car, I'll sometimes mount it first so I can reach it if I'm trying to tune and then put the big poles above it, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's on there. And then the last part of the vertical I use is the Buddy Pole Mini Shop Cord Whip. This one's nice and light, it's designed for portable operations and ease of carry, so that will just fit on the side of the pack there quite easily. Uh, there, and it folds up really small. I'm not going to unfold it until I actually put it on. And finally, for this configuration, I've made up a number of radials. Well, there's 12, that's the number. And these are just 12, four and a half meter wires, uh, which spread out on the ground and fit onto the bottom of the, uh, the mount here. So what I'll do now, I'll take the table away and we'll set the table, uh, set the uh, antenna up. And setting it up is really easy. Once you've got it together, push it into the ground. No problem here, it's all nice and damp. Uh, thanks to all the rain. And then we put the whip on the top. It's easier to do it folded up and it's not waving around in the wind. Extend the extra 11 inches on the top. Uh, 
and that all pops together. Almost done. This can sometimes be the longest part. Um, now it does work. We're just running out the um, a tuned radial like you get with the super antenna. But I found this works really well with some other antenna systems as well. The only thing you've got to be careful of is if you roll them up nicely when you put them away. Otherwise you end up with a big knot. Okay, now it's untangled. I hope. And we can just spread them out on the ground. That's it. So, the only tricky part is that when the wires get tangled in, when they're in, your, in the bag. So that's the antenna system. Fairly quick and easy. Um, not a lot to it. Um, all waterproof, obviously. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody.